now some people ask me please discuss uh, some international stock so i decided first my favorite stock uh, i decided to discuss about alphabet stock this is the uh, google mother company okay normally uh, google mother company also the youtube mother company you know there is a huge growth in youtube stock in uh, past years in this video even you are not going to invest in uh, international markets you can get, have some knowledge how these markets operates and how uh, things work so i am doing a i am in this video you can get a basic financial idea how the uh, google uh, alphabet stock how this the mother company name is alphabet alphabet stock look like and what is the fundamental and what is the value of uh, this company and it is worth to invest in this kind of uh, company and uh, keep remember this is not a financial advice so uh, we are moving to the next level we have to do these some of these international stock analysts so, so my favorite stock uh, uh, main reason this uh, alphabet uh, becoming my favorite stock is uh, the youtube owned by alphabet and google everything uh, nowadays uh, famous are owned by this alphabet inc okay uh, inc means incorporated this american com companies are like that name is like that uh, so first i downloaded the financial report it's not like sri lankan financial reports these are very uh, boring looking sri lankan financial reports are very colorful and uh, like that but uh, these reports are not like that because i think uh, they have some standard uh, way to present uh, financial reports i think that uh, if uh, sri lanka also adopted this kind of view it will be worth to uh, investors because uh, uh, some there is some uh, similarity and there is some standard within these financial reports you know in sri lanka we can't see that similarity and uh, some some financial reports uh, they put the financials in top and some uh, some financial reports they do not give 10 year summary like that but in us say there is a standard between this financial report so this is boring i am moving into a website uh, analysis uh, website based uh, basic ratio analysis so uh, we don't have to check this uh, i'm basically i'm doing a very basic analysis so uh, because of that uh, i will use this website to analyze this stock you can see this app, alphabet incorporated stock price have been uh, fallen to uh, 1500 usd okay 1500 usd uh, now uh, because maybe this uh, corona things and economic downturns uh, this may be the reason so you have to remember the share price is around 1500 us dollars if you want to buy a share you have to have 1500 us dollars okay then we have we move into these uh, figures how these uh, figures look like so pe ratio especially you have to i have to mention in sri lanka you can see 3 4 times pe ratio now pe ratio is 33 uh, 33.83 okay and uh, in ex including extra order items pe ratio is 37.18 okay price to sales ratio there is price to book ratio and uh, as i remember book value is 300 usd or something so you can see there is five times four and half times the price is higher than book value so in sri lanka you can see uh, book value is 300 uh, uh, price is 50 now in usa book value is 300 price is 1500 so these markets are uh, somewhat overvalued you have to see the uh, thing before you invest okay even you think into invest you can see eps is clearly uh, 47.96 so uh, the return is uh, if you divide by this uh, 47 we don't have to calculate this website show everything but uh, as uh, uh, to become this uh, simple i will calculate and you can see 3.3% uh, uh, return from overall return from this stock but these stocks will be uh, there for eternity because you know microsoft also how those companies started and now how these companies rule the world okay and eps basic and eps diluted dps also same thing i have explained what is the diluted dps in last videos okay revenue for employee these figures are not very important the current ratio you can see 3.37 like that and gross margin 
free tax margin, net margin, you can see how these things have been changed. Okay, book value for share, you can see 300. This book value means net asset value. Net asset value is 300 and share is selling for 1500. Now you can see the ratio properly. Okay, net income growth you can see in 2020, it have been fallen by 30%. Okay. Uh, then I will next uh, move to this uh, report. This uh, shows the every financial summary of uh, everything. So in this report, you can see uh, from 2,500 words how revenue have been growth. Revenue have been uh, revenue was uh, 600, 6,000 uh, in 2005. It have been grown to uh, 161,000. Okay, uh, this is millions of USD. Okay, now you can see revenue have grown grown by 161 divided by 6. How much times? In uh, like uh, 15 years, revenue have grown by 26 times. So uh, that is a very big amount, very fast growth rate because these are global business. They are selling globally. That is the main uh, reason. So cost of goods sold also. It we can see how these things go. It have also have been increased from the inception. Also, gross profit also they have increased. Okay, then uh, operating expenses, operating income, these kind of things you can go to this website and see how these things works. First thing is you have to remember these companies are we, with compared to Sri Lankan market. When we check the uh, point of the figures, these companies seem so valued. Okay, this company seems overvalued, but the thing is, uh, if uh, they continue these growth rates in future, uh, these companies will be uh, multiplied by uh, and uh, grow by higher rates than Sri Lankan companies. That's why these are selling uh, this much of higher PE ratios. Okay, but it's uh, worth if you can have some shares of this kind of companies because uh, uh, someday these companies will be there. Uh, let's say another in 20 years or something you can have a good return also USA inflation is lesser than Sri Lanka so monetary devaluation is low okay you can see how EPS also growth it grow by 20 times to 2.65 EPS in 2005 now it have been grown to 49 that means like more than 20 times 20 times they have increased their uh, this EPS so uh, you may be thinking about now you can see this uh, apple apple stock also i have downloaded the annual report you have to yeah, i have, have to show the similarity this, between these uh, annual reports you can see those are very similar black and white and uh, now uh, uh, again now i move into uh, dividends uh, so uh, if you uh, go to google dividends you can see uh, they do not pay dividends and i have find out why this uh, google do not pay dividends uh, because it uh, they uh, the management is telling they are a growing company so uh, no need to pay dividends because they grow their company uh, that is the main reason for uh, their dividend is zero okay uh, also uh, this uh, youtube they have acquired in two, uh, 2006 you can see they are serial acquire company so uh, they have made a huge profit from this uh, google uh, youtube uh, youtube acquisition and they are using these uh, platforms they are uh, developed platforms to develop the both companies uh, now you can see the synergy how how, how they have been grown now this is the business portfolio of this alphabet they have divided this to two categories and uh, first thing is uh, google google adwords google adsense google cloud google maps android even android youtube hardware infrastructure everything have been uh, have, have in this alphabet company and they have gi google capital nest calico those na names are not very familiar to sri lankans but uh, we uh, we know these names no uh, in access uh, and energy there are many companies behind this alphabet uh, mainly I love the Go YouTube so uh, I know YouTube will grow in future uh, by uh, multiple times because uh, this is a revolutionary company uh, you are seeing this video also because of this YouTube company so uh, I invite you to buy some alphabet stock but remember this is not a investment recommendation you have to do your own analysis 
okay now uh, there is an article that uh, shows you how much powerful this company is alphabet breaks 1 trillion market capitalization first time ever okay also uh, top 5 shareholders who are the top 5 shareholders of google uh, larry page you know Eli next uh, sergey bin uh, and vanguard vanguard group and uh, blackrock blackrock is a g great uh, multinational this uh, investment plan t row price associates and uh, this kind of people hold these uh, valuable shares okay now uh, i think you have a basic idea how this uh, company uh, share prices are and how these uh, p ratios and how how the book values and uh, eps figures are and how they pay dividends but the uh, thing is i have to uh, uh, get your attention is their return on equity ratio even this company seems very highly uh, very highly valued in the market they say book value 300 uh, and market price is 1500 uh, you can see uh, eps is uh, 49 but market price is 1500 but you can see return on equity is very high compared to the american economy return on equity is uh, 15.79 16 point return on equity figures are very high return on asset is 11.78 so they have potential to grow return on assets return on investment is high so you can see uh, this is a nice company but the problem is you can't have a dividend but they will grow this business surely for in next uh, 20 30 years uh, this is the i think this is the greatest company in american history uh, five years sales growth is 19.65 this is a massive sales growth you can't see this kind of sales growth very frequently okay even they are a very big company they have growth their yeah, sales by very high amounts okay then loan term debt to equity ratios you can say asset turnover those kind of things dividend yield you can see they pay dividend and uh, as per the figures uh, industry even uh, tech industry pays uh, three percent uh, dividend but they only paid uh, they didn't pay any dividend that is the issue behind uh, if you if you are a passive income investor if you invest in this kind of company i think you have a basic idea how this apple stock works and how american economy works and how this uh, this company is undervalued or overvalued as my opinion this company is a uh, little bit overvalued if you can buy this company let's say at least you can buy uh, I can't give a figure because I have I don't have very proper idea on what is the American economy situation right now. But uh, if you can buy this company now, return is three percent. No, at least uh, you can buy this uh, company for uh, thousand US do it, it will not happen. This share price will not fall to that that levels. But it is a very good deal because uh, these companies will grow. Uh, I mean not, a, not for a small investor but for a large investor again I am telling you this is not an investment advice you have to do your own research we will meet you in the next session and please keep subscribe and uh, click the bell icon I will do time to time videos in English uh, especially annual report uh, report reviews on international companies so keep subscribe uh, we will uh, we'll meet up in the next session.